Hey everyone, welcome to uh, another episode of Automower Answers here on Eshelmania TV. Today we're going to look at some Automower Connect boards. We have a very specific reason why we're going to be looking at them. But before we get to that reason, we're going to take a look back at some of these older ones here. Show you kind of what was what. This is the old school Type 1. You can see it right there, uh, Type 1. This is the one that came in the original 450X models. If you bought the original 430X back in the day, when I say back in the day, like 2016, this board here came in a kit and you could install it in the 430X. It had a white SIM card in there. I know some guys had to buy a SIM card from um, another uh, provider to get better service in an area, you know, where it didn't have the, the service to connect to the provider that Husqvarna was using. Uh, I forget who that white SIM card was. Actually, that white SIM card was in here just a few minutes ago and just went flying when I tried to open it up to look at it. And it's just not worth my time to go looking for it at this point. Um, I'll find it later on. But anyway, that was the Type 1. That was the original one. I don't have a Type 2, but this is a Type 3. And the tricky thing with the, the Type 3 is that it was still a 2G board but it came with no SIM card in it. So, as I said, this one had a white SIM card in there. It was very obvious with the SIM card in, you know, which one was which. But you pop that SIM card out, and it's, you know, just at a glance, it's hard to tell which one's which. So you always had to look at the little labels on the back. And you can see this one here clearly says that it's a Type 3. So you knew which one was which there. Type 3 went away when they came out with this 2G slash 3G board, and that's on the back here, right there, 2G slash 3G, and you can see it's a Type 4. Now, there were some of these boards that were marked 2G slash 3G that had the, the smaller label, like this, and that was kind of tricky because you had to really look for them, and you had to pay attention to what you were dealing with to know what was what. But at any rate, this was the... Uh, the 2G slash 3G board they came out with up until February, the end of February in 2020, you had the opportunity to have your old boards, your 1, 2, and Type 3s swapped out and replaced with the 2G, 3G board so that you could maintain service um, with your automower because the 2G network is basically going away if it hasn't already in your areas. And Husqvarna was providing a service of you contact the dealer, um, set up you know the arrangements with your dealer. Either you go to them, they come to you, whatever. The dealer puts a new 2G slash 3G board in your mower. You get rid of the old type 1, 2, and 3 and update the software. And it was all covered through a warranty program they were doing, no cost to the owner. Now... If you missed out on that program, and I am sure there are plenty of people that did because I am still hearing about it from people, um, you know, whenever I mention it. If you missed out on that, got some good news and some bad news. The bad news is if you want to upgrade your connect board now to get away from the old type 1, 2, or 3, you're going to have to pay for it. You're going to have to pay for the connect board, which is a good like 240 bucks or so. Um, you're going to have to pay for that. You're going to have to pay for the labor to install it in the mower. And then the, uh, the dealer is going to have to hook it up to the computer to update the mower software to make it work with everything else in your mower. So that's the bad news. Now it's going to cost you. The good news is though, if you didn't get that done and you're looking to upgrade to the latest and greatest connect board, the 2G slash 3G is no longer it. So if you're going to spend your hard-earned money, you can get upgraded to the new board. Stickers upside down here, but this is the kit. Um, same looking kit as always, but you can see on the label here, this is the big thing. 2G plus 4G. And right there is the part number, 586-6623-11. That is the latest and greatest board. So this will give you connectivity probably longer than the old 3G board because, you know, 5G is coming out, so who knows how long 3G will even be around anymore. Now, this kit right here, the good thing about this is, as we said, it's 4G, 
But if you're a dealer, the good thing about this is this is your one kit to do it all. Inside here, it comes with the ribbon cable, like always, and it comes with a new longer ribbon cable. This new longer ribbon, ribbon cable is used for the 115H models and I believe the 305s from what the instruction says here. So now, if you had the old um, 430X, the old style, and you never got it upgraded, now would be a good time to maybe shell out that money and get it upgraded. Or if you have the 115H, you um, don't really want to use the Bluetooth and rely on it, you want something better, here's your opportunity. You can upgrade right now to the 4G board, and this will work in your 115H. For all you guys out there with the uh, 400 series, 300 series that already have a 3G board in there, and you're wondering, hey, um, you know, if I take this in, how am I going to know if they installed a new one? Well, big size difference there. I mean, there's a lot of glaring differences between these boards. This is the uh, the old style boards here. You know, they were all the same size. But this is the new one, and you can see, number one, it's going to say on there, it's a Type 5, and it's got this big plug right on here that none of the Connect boards here in North America ever had this before. Can't speak for the ones all over the world. I'm pretty sure they were probably basically like that. But anyway, this one has this big plug on here. The other ones did not have that. Um, so you've got a, a, a pretty... Pretty good set of giveaways there to know whether you've got the new board in it or not. And again, this is going to do basically all the mowers in the line up there. 115H all the way up through 300 series, 400 series, 500 series. It comes with the instructions. Tells you how to install it. Again, comes with the two different ribbon cables. If you already have a connect board in your mower, you don't need this short one anymore or that one. They just throw that in there for cases where you have like a an old 315 or a 310 that did not have the uh the ribbon cable in it already the ribbon cable is used to connect the connect board to the hmi board and make everything work there um comes with the screws you have to read the instructions to know which screws to use where and that washer depending on which mower you have you will need to use that washer Ran into that a couple times on some old 300 series mowers. So that's the kit. As we said, there's instructions in there on how to mount it in your mower, what screws to use, of course, which ribbon cable, but that's pretty obvious once you get in there. And underneath that is the book that tells you all about connecting uh, your phone to the mower, you know, everything to do with the app and how to, how to get that connected. And of course you have your uh, GPS alarm sticker and this is important here. You have to put this under the under the hatch, the, the lid that flips up for the keypad, right under where your model and serial number are at. You want to put this on there. That's your FCC identification. Um, you really need to put that under there. I don't know all the stuff behind it. I don't know if they ever come and check for it. But anyway, this definitely needs to be on there. That's why they send that with it. Um, so that's it for the kit. Now... One big thing I got to point out here is, yes, this is a kit. This has a Husqvarna part number on it. Like I said, right there, 58666231. You can order this over the internet. You could probably find this on eBay. Um, you could find this many, many, many places on the internet. Hell, you might even be able to find this at somebody's yard sale if you look hard enough once the social distancing ends. But... It's not going to do you any good if you buy it from one of those places. The reason for that is, no matter which style you had here, whether it was the old 1, 2, 3, the uh, 2G, 3G, or this new 4G, you put it in your mower to get it to work right with your mower, the dealer has to plug it into a computer and use the AutoCheck 3 program to upgrade the software to make it all compatible and make it all work together. So you can be that DIY guy that says, I don't need to go to the dealer for this. It's just a couple of screws and you can buy one of these dirt cheap wherever and you can take your mower apart and you can put this in the upper chassis and you can connect the ribbon cable and 
that's it. That's as far as you're going to go. It's not going to do anything for you. Don't waste your time trying to cut corners on this. Don't waste your money buying something that's not going to work. Go to your local dealer or go to a dealer. Whether you don't have one local or not, go to a dealer. Get this from the dealer. Get them to install it or at least tell them, hey, I'm going to buy this. I'm taking my mower part already because I got to replace a wheel motor. You know, it's out of warranty. If I put this in there, how much is it going to cost for you to update the software? Don't just be like, hey, um, I bought this on eBay for like 10 bucks. Uh, pretty sure it was good. I put it in my mower and now I need a software updated, they say, to make it work. I mean, this is bullshit because nobody told me that. I'm telling you that right now. I'm cutting this off at the pass. Go to your dealer, get this from the dealer, talk to them about it, work everything out with them ahead of time. Build that relationship with your dealer. Shop local, you know, all that good stuff. But the biggest thing is, in the end, you need the dealer. So it's not going to do you any good to cut the dealer out to begin with. So there you go. That's just my two cents on that. And just wanted to pass that along. So now everybody that watches this knows you're not just slapping this on there and making it work. You need the dealer. Uh, that's about it. Um, can't really think of anything else more important that I have to say about this. Again, that's the uh, the points there. Part number 5866-62311. Go to your dealer and get it because you're going to need the dealer to upgrade the software to make it all work. So thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. If you got any friends or know anybody with an automower, pass this information around. Don't let them just go spending their hard-earned money for something that's not going to work and then be you know, infuriated with the product or whoever sold this to them. All right. All right. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll be talking to you soon.